thoroughbreds, hats that are over the top, and a minty beverage. Now, what do all three of these things share in common? Well, my friends, they all play a very important role in the event known around the world by millions of people as the most exciting two minutes in sports history, more commonly known as the Kentucky Derby. Now, some of you might be wondering about how all this came to be and why to this day this particular event continues to draw such a crowd year after year. Well, why don't we start at the very beginning with the athletes themselves. And folks, I'm not talking about those people of short stature who wear those brightly colored uniforms with the pretty little designs on them. Oh no, I'm talking about the ones who do all the real work. The horses. That's right, those four-legged mammals with the mane and tail. Millions of thoroughbred legends have come and gone over the years, but the one who stands out to me the most is the one, the only, Secretariat. He was born on March 30th, 1970 in the town of Dawesbell, Virginia. His owner was Miss Penny Chinnery, and she gave Secretariat the iconic nickname Big Red. He won many a race in his lifetime, but perhaps the most memorable one would have to be the winning of the Belmont Stakes in 1973, which made him the first horse ever in 25 years to win the Triple Crown and also to achieve such a great feat. He went into retirement after that and passed away in the year 1989 at the age of 19. Something that I found interesting about Big Red is that after he died, an autopsy was performed by Dr. Tom Swerzik, and he made a most astonishing discovery that Big Red's heart was twice its normal size and three times as large as any horse's heart he had ever seen. Hats of the Kentucky Derby come in every single shape and size a person can possibly think of. Big or small, the odds of you finding two that are exactly the same are very rare. The possibilities are endless. Some people even go to what I think are extremes and design hats for people who are willing to go the extra mile to pay large sums of money in order to get the perfect hat they want. Others simply just go to their local department store and find one there that is suitable. Ordinary hats were worn at the first Kentucky Derby, but over time, they have evolved into much more than just an accessory to wear with clothing. They are conversation starters and head turners. Even though they are only seen but once a year, hats of the Derby stick with us for years to come and are truly adored by all who get the chance to look at them firsthand up close and in person. The mint julep has remained the official drink of the Kentucky Derby for almost a century. It is an alcoholic beverage which, cons which consists of some very strange ingredients. Close to 120,000 mint juleps are sold and drank over the course of the two-day racing event. As early as the year 1784, mint juleps were given as a way to soothe a person with a stomach ache and also to help patients who might have d a difficult time swallowing. Most all historians will agree that the mint julep came about in high society of Virginia in the late 1700s and early 1800s. The mint julep made its Kentucky Derby debut in the year 1938 as a beverage to be drank by the many spectators of the, the Derby and has been a crowd favorite ever since. Although it may not be as appealing to some as it is to others, the mint julep comes along with one of the many traditions which are celebrated at this most spectacular event, which also goes by another popular name, the Run of the Roses. So just to give a quick recap, even though the Kentucky Derby is one of the quickest sports out there, it doesn't mean it isn't the most exciting. Secretariat was one of the greatest race horses of all time. Hats of the Derby are definitely a showstopper and an eye catcher, and the mint julep was one of the most unique drinks you will ever find yourself willing or not willing to take a sip of. All these things come into play on race day. They have become a big part in the Kentucky Derby and will continue to play a huge role in it for many years to come. I hope you walk away today with just a little more knowledge than you did before about the history of this fine sport and all the things that make it unique to this wonderful state. After all, we are the horse capital of the world.